We got tweets from the first day of training camp to react to. Big Deke news. First, Steelers got new practice jerseys. They're really no different outside of the new sleeves. So for the white jerseys, they added gold sleeves. And then for the gold jerseys, they added black sleeves. I think they're pretty slick. I think they're cool. No complaints from me. Uh, I saw some people online comparing them to old 60s jerseys that the Steelers used to wear. And I could definitely see that. But let me know what you guys think. You guys like the new practice jerseys. But without further ado... Let's get into what actually took place on the field. Let's talk some shop. And I think the obvious starting point is the quarterback. And the Steelers QB1, Kenny Pickett, apparently had a strong showing in his second training camp. Ran things like it was his show, was calm, cool, collected out there. And first play, according to Alex Kazora, took a shot downfield of Pickens, uh, but was broken up by Pat P. And before I get into any more of this, I got to give a shout out to Alex Kazora because I think most, of, if not all of this information that I'm going to be talking about today on Big Deke News is coming from him and his tweets and his play-by-plays that he breaks down on Twitter. Dude just goes out to Latrobe. Shows up in the stands and gives us some really good information. So got to give a salute there. But going back to Kenny, you actually had some videos pop up on social media showcasing actual catches. One to Deontay down the sideline. Then a teardrop to Anthony McFarlane uh, against the cover two. To put it simply, people that know ball aren't surprised at this. But I even think skeptics would agree that hearing news like this is better than hearing the opposite. Now let's transition to the secondary and a position that may be in flux or may be undergoing a little camp competition is the slot corner spot. And the guy that got first team reps yesterday wasn't Chandon Sullivan, you know, the guy that we signed this offseason, but rather Duke Dawson. Who? Yeah, Duke Dawson, a journeyman slash practice squad guy thus far in his NFL career over a guy in Chandon Sullivan who's been a legit starting slot corner over the last several years, whether in Green Bay or with the Minnesota Vikings. So who knows what Tomlin has up his sleeve with this one, but I'm here for it, whatever. I just feel like our secondary is going to be less about specific positions and more about getting the best guys and the best talent out there on the field, which means you could be seeing Pat P getting some snaps at slot. Maybe a Levi Wallace as well. Or a JPJ, who apparently had himself a day. He went stride for stride with the speedster, Calvin Austin, on a go route. And didn't get toasted at all the whole day. Held his own. Good thing to hear, especially if you play cornerback. Uh, but in addition, it seems he was hitting the jugs machines hard. Which I'd say is good, because we want you to definitely cover like your Uncle Ike. And the guy that you share a jersey number with in 24. But... Uh, you definitely want to have better hands. But now let's go over some O-line configurations because one of the big stories coming out of camp will be that left tackle battle. And the first team and the second team, I think, went as expected. It was pretty much chalk. The first team was Dan Moore. At starting left tackle, left guard, Isaac Samalu, center, Mason Cole, right guard, James Daniel, and Chooks as the starting right tackle. The second team then included Broderick Jones, Kevin Dotson, Kendrick Green, Nick Herbig, and LaRaven Clark. Like I said, not many surprises here, although a couple things to note. One, why we got to do this to Mitch, man? KG snapping the ball for the second team. Hopefully Mitch can get out of this preseason unscathed. But also, I'm curious, uh, with Kendrick Green being considered the backup center, according to these lineups, I wonder, God forbid, if Mason Cole did go down, if we would actually be starting KG? Or hopefully we'd be moving like a James Daniel, Isaac Samalu, or a Nate Herbig to center before we went that route. Uh, but also, again, the main topic with this O-line is the left tackle. Dan Moore getting the first team reps early on uh, makes sense. I feel like we're going to have Broderick Jones make sure that he earns his spot with the first team. And Omar Khan said as much yesterday where he was like, yeah, he's going to have to earn it. But him and the Steelers do have faith that he's eventually going to. Competing for a job, is he the number one guy? What are your designs on a guy that you covet that much that you make a move to get him? Yeah, he's he's got to earn it. You know, I think Coach addressed that, or what, you guys can ask him, but he's he's going to earn it. Confident he he's uh, he's going to head you know draft him in the first round. 
for a reason. Now, before I sign off, let me go over uh, a few other stories from yesterday. Just do a quick rapid fire to end this. Mason threw a pick to Elijah Riley. Apparently, it was due to some miscommunication between him and Darnell Washington. Calvin Austin and Akeem Butler could have had better days. Don't write them off. It's early. Nick Herbig was cooking on defense. Megan Fitzpatrick sat out. And Mark Robinson was getting second-team inside linebacker reps over the likes of Nick Wachowski and Tanner Muse. So that is it for this edition of Big Deke News on a Friday. Again, shout out to Alex Kazora for the great information, for the great tweets. Uh, but also, got to give you guys a heads up. I will be live on Bleach Report today, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be on the app. Just go to the Steelers section. I'll post out a link to Instagram and Twitter as soon as I get it so you'll be able to access it that way as well. I will be breaking down the top five position battles that will be taking place during Steelers training camp. So stop through, give your takes in the chat, uh, we'll uh, chop it up. But that's about it for this edition of Big Deke News. Again, hope you guys enjoy, stay chilling, and peace.